Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today we are going to continue the journey in learning Loopy Pro and we are going to start a number of tutorials dedicated to actions. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside the AUM and I have loaded Loopy Pro as you can see as a audio unit instance inside uh, an audio channel as an audio source. Now, the first thing I want to do, I've just created a new project. And by the way, I'm going to into edit mode and I'm going to configure it a little bit. So I'm going to click on the minus here to delete this row. And then I'm going to delete um, progressively um, all the different columns, leaving just one. Now, when I've done that, I'm going to click on the arrow here um, so to the left to create a space and I'm going to create here on the icon to create a button. I'm going to click on old so that I can uh, see the uh, little dots here. Um, so I can uh, then go and drag um, and change the size of the button. So let's uh, exit uh, um, edit mode and uh, you can see I have a button now. And uh, I have these... Um, Clip here, which I click and will start to record, and I click again and will stop recording. If I click and move down, of course, I will delete the content. Now, if I click and move up, I go inside the, uh, this menu. So let's uh, click on the icon to import. We go for uh, document picker, and we are going to um, and audio. Um, why not? Let's go inside our iPad. We're going inside a sound for more uh, folder. And then inside there we go to audio files and then we're going to select a drum loop and we're going to open it. Now we can sample it, of course. Yes, we are okay with that. So we're going to import it. Now I have already created tutorials on how to do all of this. So please do refer to some of the previous tutorials, but it's just to get uh, something set up. Now, of course, if I press on the clip, I will activate. If I press again, I will stop. Now it is not playing because the transport control um, are off here and therefore the clock is not running. So let's click play. And now if I click on the clip, of course, there is quantization on, but if I click again, I can... Uh, and, there, uh, 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 and of course, there is also quantization for off. And if you click twice, of course, want to um, start at the play, and then if you don't want to wait for quantization, you press again, so it will play and correspondingly stop immediately without waiting for the quantization length to expire. Okay, perfect. Now, what we want to do as a first tutorial, we want to press on this button. And when we press on this button, we want for the clip to start playing. Now, as you can see, the transport control are running. So you have this indicator here. So you know where you are in terms of uh, uh, the bits on the bar. Okay. Of course, if you stop the transport control, this, this little line will stop moving. But let's um, leave it on for now. So let's go in uh, edit mode and let's click on the button, which will reveal the property of this uh, button. Now, let's start with simple things. So where it says button one here, you have this pencil, click on it and we can change the name. So we can, for example, write SFM button, why not? And press enter. And as you can see, it has updated the text of the button. Now I can change the font size here, so I can make it um, bigger. So I can uh, um, go like this, so you can see it's much uh, bigger now. I can justify left, send, right and center, I'll leave it center, and then of course vertically as well, not only horizontally, I can go up, I can at the bottom or in the middle. Okay. Now I can change also the color here, so let's say we want a nice red one. Click outside, exit um, edit mode. Now you can see you have a nice red button with uh, the label SFM button. But again, if I click on it, at the moment, nothing happens. So let's start our journey to learn about actions. So click on edit mode, click on the button again. 
Now here you have the selection of a number of uh, gesture that you can control. So let's start with the very simple one. So what happens when you press the button? So you click on the plus sign here and uh, you move into this uh, search um, um, of action that you can trigger. For example, you could uh, actually uh, start to um, write in play and it will choose all the action available which has play in the description okay now let's remove that search and as you can see you have a lot of different actions which are grouped in this case by clip actions color group actions effect actions audio source action media source bus widgets page sessions media action and controller action so we're going to go through them all now let's start with a very simple one for clip and let's start with the very first top one which is play and stop. When you click on it and you can see you move into this uh, menu window, uh, it says at the top play stop for the action. You can go back of course if you wish so and if you go back you can see that under the gesture press which means you press the button, you have a play stop action, which at the moment decides between brackets num because you have not configured it, and then you have an arrow here on the right. So if you were to exit again and exit the mode, click on the button, you can see you can click on it because it is capturing the gesture and oppressing the button, but nothing happens because there is nothing configured against that action. So let's go back to it and let's click play stop. Now, we are back on this window, which we have seen a moment ago. Um, I'm not going to go through the controls and this, all the controls in this tutorial, in this video, but we are going to go through them all as we progress through the videos. So let's start with the top one, which is a target. You need to specify the target um, for that particular action. So the action is about playing and stop. Okay. And... Um, is saying is asking now what do I play and stop clips colors so we're going for the very top one so specific clips and then then it shows you at least what is available now you have a button and you have only one clip and this clip is called uh, drums loop so we're going to click on it because it's the only clip available and then we're going to click on done okay so as you can see it says drums loop here yeah? and then under the specific action you have three options, toggle, play, and stop. So let's, let's test them, all of them. Let's start with play, which is the simplest one. So now, as you can see, it says target drums loop, which is the name of that clip. Action, play. Let's go back, and you can see now it says play drums loop, which is the name of the clip. Now let's exit here. Let's exit um, edit mode. If I press now on the SFM button, is starting the plane quantization. Now, if I press on the button again, it doesn't stop. Okay, because the action is only to start the play for this particular clip. Okay, indeed, if I activate again the transport control inside AUM and I press the button, nothing happens, it's already playing. Okay, correspondingly, if we go back to the edit again and we edit that action and we change the action here to stop, okay, and we exit again edit mode, if now I click play, the clip is already playing, if I press the button, it will stop. Of course, you had quantization, you had to wait, but if you press again when you are in quantization waiting, um, then it stops straight away. Now, if I press again, it doesn't start the play because the action is only for stop. So you can have an action for start the play. You can have an action for stopping the plane of that particular clip. Now, let's say that I want to do both. I go back to edit um, and let's edit the action and we change the action to toggle, which means that if it's not playing, it will activate the plane. If it is playing, it will stop. So it will talk between one state to the other, depending on what that is. So let's try. Stop. Press again, play. Wait for condensation. Don't want to wait. 
WordPress again. I don't want to wait for quantization. So as you can see, um, you can start um, the play, you can stop the play, or you can toggle between play and stop as you like with um, pressing the button. Now let's go back to the uh, button itself and let's go to the action. And um, here you can see it says start clock if paused. So let's activate this one and let's exit again edit mode. Now let's stop the transport control and let's click on the button. As you can see the clip is activated but it doesn't start playing. Press again. You can see nothing really happens. But again, if I activate the transport control, then it behaves normally. So you might be wondering, what about this option that we changed just now, which says start clock if paused? Well, let's exit again, edit mode. Let's go to the folder here to the menu and let's uh, click save. We have a name for that. It says Ruthless Tortellini, which is fine. A random name. Now let's move to the standalone version of um, Loopy Pro. Let's go to the folder. Now let's um, uh, click here where it says Projects. And we go to Audio Unit Extension folder and we're going to load Ruthless Tortellini, which is the project which we just saved. Now the transport control um, are defined by the plane up here. Um, inside the Loopy Pro as a standalone version, so because it's not hosted by AUM. So let's click on the SFM button with the transport control off. Now, as you can see, it, it has started the play even uh, at the clock, even if the clock was off. Now, if I was to go back and edit this button again in the action, and I set the start clock if paused to off and now I disable that and exit edit mode I press on the button it activates the clip but it doesn't activate the clock and therefore it doesn't start playing so I hope you found this uh, uh, first tutorial on uh, more details uh, action explanation useful and as always see you next time bye